Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you an example of using the MIDI router in the Boombox. Here's a typical example of what we might see in an on-stage configuration. Over on the right, we have a computer running Ableton Live, and it's going to go over to the Boombox 1 over on the left that's going to be on stage and controlled by the keyboard player. In the Boombox 1, we're going to connect the MIDI keyboard to a synth that's connected to the DIN of the Boombox 1, and we're also going to have a launch pad over there so that the keyboard player can control Ableton Live from the launch pad. Finally, the keyboard player wants to be able to control a drum machine on the other side of the stage, so we're going to go ahead and connect one bone box up to the other, bone box two, uh, to allow the keyboard player to run the drum machine from his MIDI keyboard. Once you have all your physical connections set up, you need to go to the Bohm Web Config tool and connect to bone box one. Once we connect to bone box one, we'll be able to use the web config to actually go and confirm the, the connection. So we're clicking on that and we're going to type our password as the browser comes up and go to network MIDI. And here is where we confirm the connection to Bonebox One from the computer. Once the connection is established, you'll see this little pop-up on the computer showing that the connection is in place. Now let's go ahead and set up our MIDI routes on Boombox 1. First of all, uh, we have to click the Add Route button. And what we want here is I've got my keyboard, which is a VI-61. I'm going to connect that up to the DIN, which is the synthesizer. Now we'll add routes to and from the launch pad to the computer which will be running Ableton Live. So first we'll set it from the launch pad to the computer and then we'll add another route from the computer back to the launch pad. Now we'll set up a route from the MIDI keyboard over to Boombox 2 which will be controlling our drum machine. Once all your connections are set up, you need to hit save. Now we need to establish a network connection between Boombox 1 and Boombox 2. So you go to the network configuration page and you hit connect on Boombox 2 and it says waiting for a confirmation. You can confirm either using the browser or you can use the pair button on your Boombox 2 to confirm the connection. Now that the connections between the bone boxes are established, we need to add the route on the second bone box to come from bone box one over to the synthesizer or your drum machine on uh, bone box two. Remember to hit save after you've added the route. Now let's go to Ableton Live and set up the launch pad to connect to your bone box one. Make sure also that you've connected to the right uh, remote connections on the bottom portion of the screen. Thank you for watching today, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach us at www.bohm.com.